Hello everyone, this is me, Sabia here, and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Gemini. Topic of the reading is, will they come back to you or is it over? So if you are dealing with a breakup or something has pulled the two of you apart and you really want to know if you guys will come back together as a couple or not, uh, this reading will definitely help you know the answer. I will also be adding charms in this reading, so stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, Gemini's, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may and it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For her personal needs, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's dive into the read and let's find out. Will they come back to you or is it actually over between the two of you? Let's find out. Will they come back to you? Yes or no? Seven of Pentacles. To be honest, like right now, it seems like, you know, your connection seems like um, your person seems like, you know, they feel that they don't have enough time to invest into this connection, even though they want to. Uh, but at the same time, they feel like they cannot. For some reasons, you in their life imbalance them in one way or the other. So they feel like, you know, their life without you is more balanced as compared to if they let you in their life as a couple, as a, as a person in their life that they want to pursue for marriage, there will be some sort of uh, imbalance coming in. There will be, there will be some sort of uh, differences, um, issues coming in for them to deal with. So there is some sort of... Um, like, you know, they, that's the reason why they kind of, like, you know, want to keep this connection out of their life for now. Let's see more cards here. What else is up for them? I feel like, you know, they really feel that um, they, they have feelings for you, but they believe that there is something between the two of you, which is uh, stopping this connection from coming, uh, you know, to, you know, for, for stopping this person from coming to, uh, you know, back to you. Um, they feel, I don't know why they feel that there is something which, which can spoil their peace or their family life if, if they allow you in their life there is something that they believe is uh between the two of you and this something is something that they believe like you know if it stays this way it's fine but if it is like you know if they try to work it out they feel that the situation will get messier so somehow i feel like you know as of now uh, even though they want to invest into this connection they are still not investing into this connection so I really feel like you know this person is like uh, looking at it from a distance and they are not doing anything to fix things up but they're desiring to to get things back on track so let's see more cards here judgment i feel like you know, your person is praying wishing hoping for things to get better but at the same time they are not putting any effort into this connection so will they come back to you or is it over they might manifest it by their thoughts by their actions i really don't see them taking any action to be honest, it's more of their thoughts, their prayers that they are going to be like, you know, wishing and hoping for. But with their action, I really don't see them taking any action towards you to fix things up. So will they come back to you? They would rather wait for the divine timing to work. They would rather wait for a divine help to come in. They would rather wait for a situation to unfold where things can get favorable for this connection. So they might choose to wait for ages but they are not ready to take any action to fix things up in this connection. So will they come back to you or is it over? They are not going to let it end. To be honest, they are going to put you on hold. That's what it is. On either deck, we do have the world. I feel like you know, there is a strong chance that this person and you will come together, but they are not putting any effort into it. So if divine helps um, the two of you to come together, if you manifest, if they manifest, yes, they will be coming to back to you. But if you expect this person to take initiative, take action towards you, I really don't see that happening. Let's see um, in the given situation, what do you need to do to deal with this situation in a better way? What is it that you need to do? What is it that you need to do to have what you desire with this person? feel like you know they are not ready to take action and uh, take stand for this connection that's what it is let's see what do you need to do to have the situation get her, getting get better in in your favor a personal issue reaches resolution for some of you it could be dealing with a cancer i feel like you know um <sighs> right now they are not having the courage enough to speak their heart out or to take action but they will you know, they are having some sort of um, lack of uh, confidence to deal with it in a mature way. 
Uh, but I feel like, you know, eventually they will. Um, confidence is your key to success. Uh, for some of you, it could be dealing with a Leo. Now, I feel like, you know, for, for a majority of you, I feel like, you know, your person really feels that they cannot make things happen. Maybe there is some sort of uh, approval issues coming in for your for your connection, and they feel that maybe they will not they will never get approval of their family. So that could also be the reason why they are like not taking any action. There is something that believe um, you know. I feel like you know, they're waiting for for things to change, circumstances to change, but they are not ready to change themselves and take stand for this connection for now. But I feel like you know eventually they will. Now, when it comes to you, I feel like you know you have to stay confident around the whole situation. You know, if you really love this person, if you really want this person to come back to you, to reconcile with you, you have to stay confident in that, uh, that it is going to happen. You have to stop letting your fears block you in any possible way. Um, believe in the impossible right now. That's what you need to do uh, to have what you desire with your person. Let's see some charms now. Let's see what the charms has to add to the read. Let's see what the charms has to add to the read. The charms, the charms for you in this situation. So we have M, G, I, M, I, Y. So we do have, um, it can be a W because this is M. So it might be a W. So W, M. Um, these could be the initial of your person or you yourself. But I feel like, you know, this connection is, um, uh, there's a lot of love in this connection. I feel like, you know, um, you both have invested a lot in this connection, but things are not working well right now. Uh, you have parted ways, but you have invested so much of yourself into this connection for mutually. But then comes a, s I feel like, you know, maybe for some of you, there could have been a third party situation uh, coming from the family or another person, maybe in your life or in their life. But I feel like, you know, something has happened. Uh, but the connection and the bond that you have created is something that, that took time to 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 get where it is right now so it's hard for the two of you to let it go you have kind of watered nourished this connection that you have with this person there's a lot of memory that you have with this person you might have exchanged a lot of gifts as well and every time you use something that they have given you or they use something that you have given them they they, they miss you a lot they wish for the reconciliation but at the same time like i said earlier they don't take the action that they need to take but i feel like you know they will later on i love your body type this person also admires you sexually as well um i feel like you know um for some of you if there is a third party situation their love for you has kind of like, you know, uh, taken a back seat. But it is still pretty much there. But the love for you has taken a back seat. Things will uh, change in future, but um, it will take time. You know, this person will have a return, you know, a, will, will return back to you after some time. That can be the case for some of you. Because I feel like, you know, right now, they're the way they have you know taking the situation is something very serious they are fanning their fears around this connection more than anything else and i feel like you know that's the reason why they are not take, taking action towards you or the connection um but they really still feel that you are the queen of their heart or the king of their heart so there is a lot of love but at the same time i feel like you know um they're really wishing and hopeful for for the connection's future but as of now they really don't put effort into the connection they really are not flourishing anything around this connection they are not putting any effort to flourish that even the idea of reconciliation i feel like you know they are kind of like you know wishing and hoping okay fine if it is meant to happen it will happen but if they have to put effort they are not ready to do so so yeah that's pretty much just coming up for you for this read if it was of help do like share and subscribe till later the next read for you guys take care bye